good morning so this is the continuation to a, to the earlier presentation um, now we are going to deal with chapter 10 now the important lines of chapter 10 are mentioned here it is a rule with me that a person who can write a long letter with ease cannot write it so actually she is uh, actually what happens uh, here Fitzwilliam Darcy was writing a letter and it was a long letter and Carolyn Bingley mentions about that then we have nothing is more deceitful said Darcy than the appearance of humility it is often only carelessness of opinion and sometimes an indirect post now what you got here in chapter 10 the next day Elizabeth joins the evening party in the drawing room so they are staying till still staying in the Netherfield Park and Caroline looks on Darcy while he was writing a letter and uh, he was trying to flatter him and she was providing some compliments about his writing capacity his writing capacity right now uh, writing letter or doing thing like anything like that is, doesn't mean anything but back in those days if you were writing that means you were educated and writing in uh, writing letters effortlessly or such a long letter means that you are extremely educated so but uh, uh, providing sometimes it happens uh, trying to provide trying trying to offer some compliments but actually she was interrupting him Elizabeth and Darcy get into an argument about Bingley's character yep that's very common Darcy says that people should always follow their conviction Elizabeth counters that sometimes regard for others must modify one's conduct but Bingley hating conflict stops them so obviously Bingley to Oswide Havi Karan say Jane ke niye bhaab che he has genuine concern about Jane and he knows very well very soon if there is any future if there is any relationship permanent relationship then Elizabeth will be her his sister-in-law so he absolutely uh, is not in a position to promote any sort of conflict so stops them so Bingley's sister sing at the piano Elizabeth notices that she seems to be to fascinate Darcy he asks her to dance and she playfully rejects or refuses still Darcy is bewitched he thinks that if it wasn't for her lowly connections he might fall in love so uh, playing piano now this playing piano um, is, con is considered to be uh, a very important skill for any woman uh, two characters I would like to mention Georgina Darcy uh, she is the sister of Fitzwilliam Darcy she plays piano very well and even Lady Catherine later on you will find that character this character didn't appear till then till now she will appear later on she also mentions that piano playing piano is very important for any woman and Bingley sisters was trying to do something like that but Elizabeth is Elizabeth don't have any piano actually and she don't have any formal training so Darcy asked for a dance with her but she refused Carolyn is increasingly jealous obviously she already sensed that Darcy has some growing sense of growing uh, Darcy is, um, is having some sort of sense uh, growing feelings growing feelings for uh, Elizabeth so that's why she is a bit jealous the next day she takes Darcy on a walk to tease him about marrying Elizabeth and about the awful family who join so this is the more Carolyn is uh, trying to destroy the relationship or trying to interfere with the relationship the more is actually helping Darcy to move towards Elizabeth so in chapter 
10 analysis whenever a character in pride and prejudice ENP means pride and prejudice tries to scheme their way to social advantage they invariably end up with the opposite result I mentioned this right now Darcy retaliates his pride his own beliefs Elizabeth pridefully believes that she considers other people's weak debates will show that she will just follow her own prejudices Elizabeth attracts Darcy by standing up to him yet class and pride are so important for Darcy that attraction alone will suffice. Caroline tries to exploit Darcy's pride in the integrity of his family to protect her chances with him. But actually, she was doing something else. So chapter 11, we have important lines over here. Please ignore any noise noises happening around me. I declare after all, there is no enjoyment like reading. How much sooner one tries to anything than a book. Again, Caroline says this, Mr. Darcy is not to be laughed at, cried Elizabeth. That is an uncommon advantage and uncommon. I hope it will continue for it. Be great loss to me to have many such acquaintances. Acquaintance. I dearly love, I love Elizabeth Penny. Uh, then we have vanity is weakness. Then uh, Mr. Darcy says, has no effect to own city himself without these guys. And uh, yes, this one. My good opinion, once lost, is lost forever. Um, it is, uh, you will find that uh, weaken the character. Darcy and weaken, they were connected with each other earlier. But weaken tried to elope his sister. And then his opinion changed. And that's why you will realize that that's his kind of um, that person. Sorry, please excuse. So, Darcy has no, um, Darcy is not that kind of person who will forgive everything and will continue in a relationship. He believes in this. My good opinion once lost is lost forever. Then we have this uh, chapter 11. Important lines there is we are still continuing. There are so many important lines actually here. There is I believe in every disposition a tendency to some particular evil. Then you have and you defect in a propensity to hate everybody. And yours he replied with a smile is willfully misunderstand brain. So you can understand the heat, the argument, the argument was growing between Elizabeth and Darcy. So that evening Jane is well enough to join the group, then Lady notes on her and talks to no one else. Caroline, watching closely Darcy read, pretends to be absorbed in reading a book, but she soon is bored and suggests to Elizabeth that let's walk together. So Darcy was... Um, not looking at them because he was reading something. So they started walking inside the room. Caroline invites Darcy to join them, but he says, No, I don't want to. Elizabeth advises Caroline that the best response is to laugh at what is ridiculous, which leads to a discussion of the aspects of Darcy's character that might be ridiculous. Then we have Darcy claims that. His main fault is that my good opinion once is lost forever. I told you about this man. When Elizabeth retorts that it is difficult to laugh at a propensity to hate everybody, this is also, I said, this is, this is an argument going on between these two characters. So the analysis is conversation, books, works, these are the few tools of seduction in Austin's world. Yeah. Talking to someone, asking for reading, um, having a work. These, these are tools of seduction. Carolyn tried all these things to get Darcy's attention. But doing what comes natural to her, Elizabeth gets it anyway. Sexual attraction in the novel are expressed only in little comments like this, but it's definitely there. Darcy incorrectly identifies his own flaw, which is the immense pride he takes in himself and his social standing. Obviously, Darcy is shown in, in such a manner. But he correctly diagnoses Elizabeth's. She believes to fully in her own ability to see to the heart of things that is 
that she becomes subject to her prejudices and blinds herself to the truth yes that is that is that's why the title is pride and prejudice so pride uh, darcy has this excessive pride and um, elizabeth she she has this excessive prejudice so <clears throat> she was blinded by the, by her prejudices so chapter 12 to mr darcy it was welcome intelligence elizabeth had been netherfield long enough she attracted him more than he liked miss pinle was uncivil to her this is said by the narrator they found mary as usual deep in the study of thorough bass and human nature and had some new extracts to admire that, that is also said by narrator elizabeth and jane write to mrs bennet to send their carriage to take them home mrs bennet still scheming to have them stay replies that it is it isn't available <laughs> mrs bennet has has her own plan jane and elizabeth jokhon chithi likhche janacche je ami shusto hoye gechi ghorar gari pathao मिसेस बेनेट तखो पर्त प्लान कर आटके रखा जाए सो एलिजाथ एंड जेन हैव टू बड़ो बिंगलेस कैरिज इंस्टीट अल्टिमेटली एलिजाथ एंड जेन बिंगले कैरिज नहीं बाज रिलीफ इज स्टार्टिंग टू वरी दैट इज एट्रैक्शन टू एलिजाथ माइट शो रिमेन्स डिस्टेंस फॉर द शर्ट रिमाइंडर अफ अर स्टेट का थकते थकते समय डार्स मन हो दिसल dearly to the venet family seta pore aspe story ta kibhabe egochhe analysis amra egochhi mrs venet schemes to get jen married to bingley force her daughters to be beggars making the venet family as a whole look bad mrs venet er prottekta scheme na dhara pore jacche ebong seta venet family ke khub kharap tar ekta jaygay niye jacche darcy has not overcome his prejudice against the venets low connections darcy ekono porjonto tar je prejudice er khonte berote paren Mrs Bennet wants to ignore his younger daughter's interest in the regiment to remain detachment from anything that strikes him as ridiculous this will come back to haunt him this what i told you earlier uh, initially mr bennet was ignoring uh, younger daughter his younger daughter's interest in the regiment and uh, he tried to remain detached from that but that will cost him dearly so that will be all for today I hope you understand all the things. I try to explain things in both of the language, and um, I hope you understand all the things. That will be all. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay home. Bye.